Okay, so I've just connected everything up to the MumPy here. So in this example here, I've already completed step one of the installation guide, which is um, I have connected the, this MumPy previously to um, my network by Ethernet, and I've entered into here um, the Wi-Fi uh, login credentials um, of our network here. So now when I power it up, the Wi-Fi dongle will automatically reconnect to our Wi-Fi network. I've also got connected a temperature sensor and a current sensor and an AC uh, waveform sensor. So I'm just going to go ahead and power up. So first when we power up the MumPy, it'll display the firmware version it's running. It'll tell us that an AC has been detected and a CT and it's detected one temperature sensor. So now there's a slight delay while the Raspberry Pi boots up. Up until now the printing to the LCD display is being performed by the um, 80 mega 328 microprocessor on the MumPy board itself. So now if we look carefully we can see the li little light on the Wi-Fi dongle and there we go it's connected. That's just the screen um, backlight timing out. So that's our IP address on our local network here and uh, I'm quite a, far, quite a long way from the router so it's quite a weak signal up, 34%. So we can scroll through the display the date and time and the uptime um, put the power from the two sensors um, I'm just getting a, a reading of 2 watts, that's just noise on the sensor obviously I haven't got it clipped around the um, sensor and then back to, back to the Wi-Fi and to turn off the MumPy to do proper shutdown we can push a little paper clip the, the, the CT jack plugs work quite well for this into there four, five, four, three, two, one and this performs a shutdown on the Raspberry Pi and when the screen goes off we just leave it a few more seconds until you see the light there stop flashing the MumPy is now shut down you can remove the power